Hello everyone, my name is Norma Helly and today we're going back to the Wynn Buffet. They've been closed for about one year now and they just did a remodel so we're here to check it out again and it's no longer um, where the waiters come and serve you so now it's going to be self-service and oh yeah, I brought a friend with me. So really quick, just to get, let you guys know, I have to take a picture of it because it, the pricing was a little bit confusing because it depends on the day and the time you come. So, so far they are only open Thursdays to Mondays. That seems to be a common theme right now is that they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Pretty much all the buffets, but this is the first buffet that is doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one day. A lot of them are only either doing breakfast and lunch or just dinner, so this is the first one. So Thursday, Fridays, and Mondays, it is going to be breakfast, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., $38.99. Brunch is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for $45.99. And then uh, uh, the gourmet dinner, 3, at, 3 to 9 o'clock, $64.99. So this is what we paid for today. And then Saturday, Sunday is their weekend brunch. It's going to be uh, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's $48.99. And their gourmet dinner is going to be 3 to 9 p.m. for $64.99. Okay, so it's the same price actually for whatever day you come. And you also do have the option of doing what's called an endless pour. That's going to be unlimited mimosas, wines, wine spritzers, cocktails, beer for $24.99. This price seems pretty reasonable. That's what like two cocktails at the strip would cost you. Alright y'all, we started with what you have to start with. So we got basically a mountain of seafood, which over there they have an awesome selection of seafood. They have crab, they have Dungeness crab, they have this other beautiful crab right here too. Lots of oysters too. And then you obviously have to get a meat plate on your first round. And it was pretty cool and I'm sure you guys have seen at a lot of buffets that they cut their uh, crab down the middle for you. So that's really cool. That way you don't have to be struggling. These were not cut down the middle but they do already have a line right there so you could just split it up uh, easily. I haven't had crab since the buffet at Cedar, so I know you guys know what crab is, you guys know what it tastes like, but give me a second, I just, this is for me right now. All right, I guess we're gonna do an oyster real quick here. Mm. You're right, you do just have to slurp right hard enough. We got some pork belly on here too, it looks super thick, really fatty, really juicy. Mm. That has so much fat right here. This is not the place to come in and try to watch your figure. We can't miss out on this prime rib. You know you have to get prime rib every time you go to a buffet. That's pretty decent. I think it's because they cut it into thin slices so that way you're not wasting. But then also I feel like I'm kind of missing that thick chunk of a prime rib. But overall still really good quality. Ooh, and then they also have tri-tip. Okay, ooh, yeah. You had a glisten on those. It's very well seasoned on the outside of it. To see how well we could just open these without help. You're gonna smell like I'm crab having juice. a hard time. <laughs> okay, so it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Wow. Ooh. Okay, there you go. Just need a guy to do it for me. Wow. Dress it already. Seafood here is served over ice, it's chilled. I prefer to have warm, but I mean, I'll still take it. So this is going to be, it looks like more of a Dungeness crab. Oh, the, okay, this one was way easier. Just let you know right now, we have dirty hands, trying to eat seafood here. Like it was like a hash 
so full, but we just have to uh, do dessert. I mean, it's a must when you come to a buffet. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start with ice cream first because it's kind of already melting. Um, I got a milk chocolate and then he got the mango vanilla. Um, it's kind of cool, it's like swirled together, so it looks really cool. Ooh, Ooh. that's some good chocolate. Oh, yeah? this is great. Yeah. It's so mm. creamy and mango-y. Yeah. <laughs> This is great. Ooh, it's a little tart. <laughs> we have to try before it melts too. It's gonna be a crepe. Um, they had a few different options as well and it's made fresh right in front of you. The moment we saw bananas, we both like said, yeah, it's that one. Mm. Mm. Really go wrong with crepes. Really good with cream tail. Mm. That's one of the more better buffet crepes I've made. So they have a lot of different like little mini options. Churros first, been dying to have these churros from the moment we walked in. And they're kind of more churros. So I'm kind of wondering to see if maybe it's on the inside. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What the heck? So I don't know if you can see that there's a lot of caramel in them. It's good. Firstly, I think it's like it's a bit much, but wow. No, a... That is a good kind of gush. Finally got some raspberry mousse here. Mm. That's bomb. You have to try that one. Very light and fluffy. Usually I don't like raspberry flavored anything because usually it tastes like NyQuil. But no, that, that tastes very fresh. I'm very curious about this one because if you guys ever did see my win reopening video from last year, they had like a mango mousse with all this topping. So I'm kind of wondering if it's this. Is that your favorite from last year? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what it is. I think it is. It's like a mango tapioca. I think it is. I think. I'm hoping, not 100% sure. It's been a year, but wow. It tastes like a super fresh mango. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then these last two were Daniel's choices. It's funny. This one is called Opera Cake. I think it was called. So elegant. Not, yeah, it is very elegant. I'm not sure what makes it an opera cake, but. Oh, well, I like it. It's like a coffee dessert. It's that gold ball, though. It's probably gonna make a coffee bean. Is it chocolate or a nut? <laughs> coffee bean? Oh, 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 maybe not edible. <laughs> no, it's edible. It's a coffee bean. But it's crunchy, so it's a little weird. Finally, a lemon bar. Ooh, very lemony. It's a little like sour at the end. I think it's good. I need more of this powder stuff. Let's see. <laughs> nice and sticky. I know. All right, we are done and full. I feel fat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Overall, great buffet. Um, I would love to say the crab legs were bomb, the prime rib, the tri-tip was super good. Pizza. The pizza was surprisingly good. Yeah. Um, good. I think from the dessert, I personally like the crepe the most. Vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla? Okay. The ice cream was the best. Yeah. Oh, and the churros. No, Can't sleep on the churros. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And then we did make a reservation. This is uh, the first day that it's reopened. Um, I do recommend make a reservation because today there were no other spots available. Like they were full of reservations, so you couldn't even walk in. Um, so go onto the Wins website, uh, make your reservation, and you actually do have to pay in advance. So for the both of us, it came out to $140, including tax. Tip is not included. But again, guys, thanks so much for coming with me on another buffet adventure. And thanks to Daniel for coming along with me and having a, a supper. <laughs> to make We're with me. officially fat. Yeah. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment below, tell me what you think of this Win Buffet experience. But I'll see you guys next time. He was in my last Win Buffet uh, video, so I only thought it was right uh, to bring him again. That right sucked. I don't know if I'm in the And you also do have the option. <laughs> Our next dish, or we go to get it. So real quick, kind of feel. Oh, ding! Microphone. You're pretty. It's fine. Here. Camera one. <laughs> Looks like some. Um, Wait! Ah. <laughs> Not yet! Uh, with 